Oh my god, let's try that again. That was so cool. A city landscape. Thousands of people walking through it in a futuristic world at night time with neon <laughs> lights in the background. Robots amongst the crowd of people and flying cars. So now if I just go back, if I just hold backspace, you can see it changing as I as I go back in time. Oh, that is awesome. That is cool. That could be like a time lapse or, or something. So Stability AI just released SDXL Turbo and that is Stable Diffusion Turbo, which allows you to generate images much faster. And I want to take a look at it right now. So here we are. We're on Google Chrome. We've got SDXL. This was the website or this was the release that they did. And it goes through some things here, but we're going to skip that. And I just finished downloading some of the models. So I did FP16 and then this one as well. And so the easiest way for me to get this up and running was comfy UI examples. And so now that it's done downloading, I want to try it out because I saw some impressive things on Reddit for generation speed and I'm super excited. Um, so let me just go ahead and pop open the comfy UI um, window and then I can just go ahead and launch it and then uh, what I'm going to do is just download this image and then drag it into here. So after downloading it, uh, let's see, we've got our SDXL turbo turbo example. All right, cool. So here we go. Um, and this is just comfy UI, pretty general stuff. But if we go ahead, click Q prompt, it'll create an image. So let's go ahead, jump this through. looks like it already selected the um, SDXL turbo there. And that was pretty fast. Let's try that again. Um, <clears throat> let's say instead of sunset, let's say night time. Put that in there. Q. Okay. Wow. That is blazing quick. Um, this is only a 512 by 512, it looks like. Um, okay. So let's try 1024 by. <clears throat> 1024 by 1024 right q prompt <laughs> well that's a little broken um okay well that let's try that again that's super quick holy moly 112 by 112 isn't working uh or one uh, well 1024 by 1024 isn't working so i'm gonna slap it back to 512 and regenerate this here um or yeah i don't know why it's creating this there but taking a look at the model card it says it was trained off of sdxl base okay so it looks like 512 by 512 is is what it is so all right let's just continue trying it out in 512 um but let's go ahead and do something different let's just say beautiful and escape all right and then q prompt let's see at night so that's not bad that's a little blurry though so not as clean as i would like oh that's a little bit better um, but yeah, no, that is a little bit blurry, but there are some probably additional steps that I could do like an upscaler. So, but before that, I want to try one more thing. And that is, um, apparently you can do this in real time and I, and I want to try that. So there's this extra options. If I auto queue, um, it should allow me to start making generations, um, while I'm typing in real time. So let's go ahead and try that out Put night with a sun. Um, hold on, maybe I got a Q. Ooh, okay. So you can see the Q size is going um, 0101 over there. And whoa. Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. Mountains in the. <laughs> that is crazy. Hold on. Um, okay, let's try to describe a person walking through. Oh my. That is crazy. What the heck? Person walking through the street with a that is so fast. That is that's mind blowing. What in the world? Oh, what the <laughs> a person walking through the street with a suitcase in hand facing the camera. Oh, um, OK, I didn't get facing the camera with a suitcase in hand in, let's say, a snowy town. 
that is awesome that is that is super awesome i can see this being very very useful um as you can see it's not as coherent but also i'm just typing into here and it's generating which is unheard of um i do have a 4090 of course so that is taken with a grain of salt on how what type of gpu you might have um regardless though holy real-time image generation let's try an anime see girl running through the sand running through the sand with a sword let's say sword in hand <laughs> and it's generating a sword let's try a staff now of course these generations aren't that good but real time generation as you're typing to get images is wild. Um, I don't, I probably said that so many times already, but um, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Let's try landscape, landscape scenery with sprawling mountains in the background and a dragon flying in the sky. Oh man, that is crazy. That is awesome. I love that. Let's try a jar, <clears throat> a jar with the universe inside of it. And let's see, with a jar with a civilization growing up inside of it. Let's try human civilization. Human civilization civilization oh that's creepy <laughs> that is creepy <laughs> with a human in it that that is creepy um and i don't know what's happening there so yeah let's let's back up a little bit from that um let's try a different noise seed okay so let's run back through a person walking through a city a man walking through through a city head hanging down while holding a hat say looking down looking down beautiful Beautiful 4K. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, the cohesiveness of this, I don't think. Um, maybe my prompting, my prompting is probably just terrible. Um, the suitcase. Okay, so wow. Let's well, let's try a um, let's try to see if I can do the regular one, but that isn't FP16. Um, and then okay we've got the um sdxl turbo running the non fp16 one going so let's see if this makes things a little bit better so let's see a man walking through a city through a city with sorry i'm cutting off the image a suit case in hand meeting with a friend interesting so, so yeah their faces are kind of messed up but um yeah what else should we try there are so many different things let's try a a, comp a room with a computer with a large l shaped computer desk in a futuristic that is cool. Did you just see that? Look at how it changed. In a futuristic. That is crazy. Look at how that changed. That is so awesome. I know the quality isn't there, but you can see that happening in real time. In a futuristic world, cyberpunk style at night time with LEDs with neon lights in the background oh that is cool wow 
Oh my god, let's try that again. That was so cool. A city landscape. Thousands of people walking through. Walking through it in a futuristic world at night time with neon <laughs> lights in the background robots amongst the crowd of people and flying cars i probably have too many things in here let's try with thousands of robots walking through it in a future world at night time you know, that is awesome so now if i just go back if i just hold backspace you can see it changing as i as i go back in time oh that is awesome that is cool that could be like a time lapse or or something and here we are it's cool that it's kind of starting at like this kind of seems like an older town you know maybe an older era but if we type like future wait what what the heck was that <laughs> Oh, maybe I think I was typing like football. Football. Yeah. Future. What is that? One of those walking things from Star Wars. i missing the name. Futuristic robot. Oh, that is awesome. I can't iterate, reiterate enough how cool this is to have it running in real time. Um, I will have to try this out on my 3060 to see if it is able to um, keep up with this. But this is completely game changing because, um, well, if we can get this uh, upscaled image, so that would be even better real quick. OK, so I just added a quick little upscaling workflow um, and I put the images side by side. So let's go ahead and try this out. I do think it is going to be a little bit slower. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely slower uh, because of the upscaling that needs to occur a universe inside of with a universe inside of it okay it is it is much slower um but if let's go ahead and take a look if you take a careful look um the quality is is much higher so yeah you can take a look at the mountains in here versus the mountains here they're much crisper in this upscaled image over here, um, but it is much slower. So let's go ahead and draw with the universe inside of it and a landscape surrounding, surrounding the jar. Yeah, so that is much slower. And just to give you an example of how much slower, we can mute this one. Um, and then let me just backspace and so here you can see it updating in real time compared to um, compared to if I unmute this again and then start backspacing it. It's now processing a little bit slower, but I believe that's probably just going to get better with uh, time. So we'll see how that um, improves in the future. Uh, the upscalers will have to be as fast as the inference model, which is, which is crazy because normally the um, diffusion model is the one that's taking the longest is the bottleneck of the process. But it looks like the upscaling model is now the new bottleneck of SDXL Turbo. So this was just something that I found today and I thought it was pretty neat and I really wanted to try it. So um, yeah, I downloaded it and hopefully you guys found this as interesting and as awesome as I did because this is pretty fantastic uh, real-time image generation but to see your ideas coming to life in real time just by typing is kind of fantastic to see so that's gonna be it for today's video um, if you guys liked the video please consider liking subscribing if you're a member of the channel thank you for supporting and I will see you all later